Hey, what is up, Skyrim Nation? It's Jelly Bean. I'm finally back again. I had a little mishap with my game, but I'm back. So today we're going to be looking at the Moonstone Castle. Because I know people love their castles. So, we are located right here. So you have North Br Brittleshin Pass. So it's right beside it. And over here you have White Run. So like it's directly if you just follow the road right there, boom, that's where we are. Okay. So over here you have like I guess little stables for a couple of horses, you know. Really, really nice. Now the castle is forty thousand gold. But you do get a lot for your money. Um, and it is an amazing castle. You have guards, you have NPCs, and any hangouts that you need. Now, one thing about this castle is it has a ton of pools, ton of waterfalls. So you definitely have no problem staying clean. <laughs> Then over on this side here, you'd like to have some, plant some flowers, and a little more alchem, alchem, oh, can't speak today, I'm telling you. Ingredients for alchemy, how's that? There you go, I did it. And there's your lovely guards. But, let's head inside, shall we? Okay, so we're inside now, and this is the main entrance. And as you can say, as you can see, when I said that it has many, many fountains, that's one thing you're going to really, really notice about this is that there's so many, many fountains. Thank you all. Your own personal throne. We'll just turn around for a second. Now, this is just the entranceway. But look at how grand this is. I'm just going to jump down here for a minute. Hey, look, a bowl of jewels. So, it, it is quite amazing. There is going to be a lot to see. So, this video will be rather, rather, rather long. But I know a lot of people love their castle mods. So we'll be going through all these little areas once we finish the main entrance. We'll just go down here and take a little peek down here. Go over here. And what do we got? A pool and a waterfall. So this is where I guess all your followers would hang out and do their thing and have a few drinks. And but look at the size. Look at this just up here. Look at these windows up here. Isn't that truly amazing? Then as we go straight ahead, we are greeted with another pool. <laughs> I told you, this is a castle of many pools and waterfalls. But this is also somebody's bedroom. I'm not, probably one of the NPCs. But, and as everybody knows, I love my paintings. I just love the paintings. Like, I, I should get into this and really see how much work it actually takes to do these paintings. And, because I'm, I'm truly, I'm just reviewing house mods and every one of you, I get more and more amazed at the work that these modders can do. And over here we have, oh my goodness, look at this. Another pool. And a waterfall. But this too is also a bedroom. So down in this section, we have three pools, two waterfalls, two bedrooms, 
and some NPCs. Okay, so we and over here we have waterfalls. I think this mod author loves pools and waterfalls. I really, really do. <laughs> oh, look, another pool. Oh, this is where we come in. Okay. And there's one of your lovely guards. Now, as usual, like I do with all my videos, I like to be as helpful as I can with all my videos. So, in the description will be a list of all mods that I used. So, let's go into here, shall we? I'll see you inside. So, this is what they would call Moonstone Keep. Now, as you can see in here, you have all your crafting areas. Your forges, your ammo, you know, all your basic, <coughs> excuse me, all of your basic needs. And of course here you have this beautiful dining area. Now here we are, the paintings again. And this, I guess, would be your little kitchen. And then in here we have your library. It's a really extensive library. We'll just stand up here and just take a look. Look at how amazing this is. Oh, another beautiful painting. This definitely gives you enough area to store quite a few books. But look at the height. And this is just absolutely amazing. Okay, now we'll head into the display hall. So I'll see you in there. Okay, so here we are. We're now we're in the Moonstone Castle's display area. Now, on either side, you'll be able to see there's an area here to display the different holds, guard armors, uh, guard weapons, the shield of each of the holds, including the storm cloaks, imperials, and then over here you have more. Now, wait till we go through this doorway. Now, look at this. This is your display area. It is. It, it's, it's not, it leaves me speechless. Oh, look, a fountain. <laughs> but look at this. So if you're an avid collector and 
You like to hoard stuff. This is another great castle with another great display area. But, and then here, look, you have all these chests for stories. You can store so much incredible stuff. It's just absolutely amazing. But I like what he's done with these little cubbies. Like, I guess you'd call them cubbies. Where you have all your unique items. And you're able to store them in just these little cubbies. But let's, here, we'll just stand up here for a minute. But look around. Absolutely incredible. And again, here's your nether cubby. Oh, I don't have anything to put up there. But absolutely incredible. Now look at this for da for your daggers. Instead of having them lay flat, you're able to put them in these beautiful cases on the wall so you're looking right eye level with them, which is absolutely perfect. Because there's so many different daggers that you can get in the game that you want them to be able to see them. Now I'm going to show you another feature that I really like. So you come in here, right, and you got all these weapon racks all surrounding you. But where do you see what's in the center? Right here, areas, bow, and shield. Right front and center. So that is the display area. So we'll head now, we'll head up into, I guess it would be the personal living quarters. So I'll see you up there. Okay, so we're going to head up to the living area now. Up here, you're going to have the children's bedroom. You're going to have the master bedroom. So straight ahead here, this is the children's bedroom. This is beautiful. A little issue with the lights flickering on and off. Hey, we can live with that. And as you can see here, you've got room for six children. And you can have a bunch of followers and all. I like those lights up there, those little... Accent lights, I guess you'd call them. Probably night lights, too. Keep it from getting dark. There's not really much to the children's bedroom, the beds, wardrobes, and all. But there's this nice little area here. You know, where they could play and practice their weapons on the mannequin over there. Just really, really nice. And then if we go down the hall here, we'll come to the master bedroom. Beautiful master bedroom, eh? Just beautiful. Little desk there for doing all your housely expenses. If you don't like the weapons that are on these racks, you can just take them off and put whatever weapons you'd like with whatever shield. You know, if you have a really sharp shield and you want to display it, of course you've got mannequins here and there that you can put some special armor. Now this is what's really neat. You can come behind the bed and actually stand behind the bed. Now over here is a teleport space. No matter where you are in Skyrim, whether it be in or outside, you can automatically teleport to the castle. And over here you got two switches. This one here, if you don't want the NPCs, you can automatically just push this button and they all disappear. Over here, if you don't want people taking their clothes off when they get into the water, you use this button, you can disable it. But if you want to have, take the clothes off when they go into the water, just enable it. Now this is what I like, how he's done this. You have two small bookcases on either side. You know, kind of like a 
bookends. That's what I'm trying to say. With this large one in the center and all of these displays. And of course, what do we have? A oh, water fountain. <laughs> Told you. A castle of many pools and water fountains. So then in the center here, we have this beautiful, beautiful garden area. You can plant some more ingredients or you can plant food and vegetables. You have this garden here where you can harvest all of these different ingredients. And waterfall. <laughs> and waterfall. <laughs> That's really, really nice. So we'll just head out here and there's one more area to show you. And then we'll end the video there. Okay, so we're out here on top of the balcony, and what is in front of us? A pool. Yes, another pool. But you have this beautiful, beautiful sitting area. Like, it looks so peaceful at night, doesn't it? That's absolutely gorgeous. Well, weapons rack over there, and practice dummy, and do a little practicing out here. Then you just go up here and you can overlook everything. Like just look how beautiful this is. You got the snowy mountains behind you. Oh, it's just beautiful. A little sitting area. There's a bow and arrow to do some practicing. A little map here. Just beautiful. How beautiful is this, eh? So this is Moonstone Castle. It's 40,000 gold. You can have up to six children and some followers. I'm Jellybean, and always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road always rise up to greet you. And thank you for joining me in this little excursion. And always remember, hit that thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out so much. And thank you.